So on today's video, we are gonna be adding sand to the tank. We'll also add the rock, and we are finally gonna get this tank wet. So first things first, we've got the uh, the rock. This is the D and D Aquascape rock. It's pretty much the only stuff they stock in my local fish shop, and I wanted to actually hand pick it so I could pick up a few bits. I think I bought four, four or five pieces. Um, broke them up a bit further, restuck them together, re-glued them together into a scape that I was happy with. I think there's only uh, four kilos of rock in there, so it is actually a, a small amount of rock, but it is quite a small tank, um, and I wanted to go for a minimal sort of look in this tank. I wanted a lot of negative space. Um, I didn't want it to exceed half the height of the tank and I also didn't really want to exceed half the width of the tank. I think I've gone a little bit over that but I'm really happy with how it's turned out especially with the sand in there. Uh, the sand that we went for was the Carib Sea Aragonite. Um, it's a fine grain sand. It's not It's not super fine. Uh, I didn't want it to be blown around by the wave maker and the, um, the return pump like the last sand was. Uh, so I've gone for I think it's about one to 1.5 millimeters uh, in diameter that sand and I've gone for an inch so I think it's a little over an inch of sand uh, across the bottom of the tank um, it does look like quite a lot but um, I always do an inch of sand across the bottom of all of my tanks um, but I think it looks really nice against that little small scape and then last but not least we have the water uh, this is actually a tip that I learned from Eat Sleep Reef uh, this is a tip for getting crystal clear water so basically what you do is you get part of your sandbag, you lay that flat on the sand bed, you put a bowl on top of that, and then when you add the water to the bowl, it overflows the bowl and it hits the bag rather than hitting the sand, and it doesn't stir up the sand. And this is 99% foolproof. I mean, it's as clear as it could be for adding brand new water to a brand new system. Um, so I'm really happy with how it turned out. The salt that I'm using in the tank is Aquaforest Reef Salt. I mixed this batch of uh, salt water overnight, so it is pre-mixed, uh, preheated, um, and it was ready to go for this video. I'll do a little tank tour of um, of the tank at the end of this video. This will pretty much wrap it up. Um, it's only going to be a short one this week because there's not much you can really say about adding sand, rock, and water to a tank. And then next week we will uh, we'll add some fish and start the cycle. It's going to be a fish cycle with ATM Colony. Um, so yeah, I'll do a little tank tour and uh, we'll wrap it up. So that about wraps it up for this week's video. Uh, it's a really short one this week. There's not really much I could say about adding sand, rock and water to a tank. Uh, but next week we'll do an update with, uh, with the cycle. Uh, the way I'm gonna cycle the tank, as I've said, is two clownfish and ATM colony. It's how I've cycled all of my tanks in the past and I've had great success with it. So that's, uh, that's how I'm gonna do it. Um, after that, you probably won't see this tank for a good few weeks because it will just be maturing and then waiting um, until I can add some corals. And that's it for this week's episode. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please do like. Uh, if you haven't already, please do subscribe. And I'll catch you next week.